Hi, I'm Greg Power from Power Adventures. I've been riding bikes a long time. So today we're going to set up bikes for the average rider, how to set your bike up, how to maintain it and keep it ready for your trail riding. We're using the mighty CRF 230 Honda because it's an entry-level bike, which we use often for coaching and teaching people how to ride and tips. But all the tips we're going to show you relate right through from this bike right through to the fastest race bike you can ride. Today we're looking at levers. The most important thing about levers is riding comfortably. If it's too low like this, you can't reach a lever often when you're riding. If it's too high, your hands are on a wrong angle and you get arm pump really easy. Have your lever slightly down, a good average position, keeps everything comfortable and you ride really comfortable easily and with a lot of success. Another thing about levers is you need to have them at the right distance for your fingers to reach. So too far out and you can't grab them, too close and the lever hits a, the handlebars and it doesn't work up properly. So you adjust the lever over here at the dial, the lever adjustment screw right in by the handlebars here. Another thing to remember is the operation of the levers. Most good riders use one or two fingers on the levers for control and the other two fingers to hold the handlebars. This gives you your hands across the levers ready, often called brake drape, with your fingers ready to use the levers as soon as you want to. Doing this, it means you don't have to take your hands off the handlebars, reach for the levers and then pull them in. Your fingers are already there, ready for quick action. Previously we told you about the hand lever positions. Well the foot lever positions are just as important. Your brake lever here, we believe it should be level with your foot peg. If it's too low, it'll catch on stumps, dot rocks and in ruts. If it's too high, you can't get your foot to it. You adjust the brake lever by undoing the lock nut here, then adjusting the nut here, up and down, so the brake lever moves up and down as you can see it moving there. Get your position correct, Lock the nut up, it's tight. Feel how much movement you've got and you can adjust it back here on a drum brake by this or on a disc brake, you won't need to adjust it at all, it'll self-adjust. Okay, the same goes for the gear lever side. Make sure the gear lever is level with the foot peg and make sure the bolt holding the gear lever onto the spline is tight. If it's loose, it can damage the spline and therefore you have to replace the shaft. And this can be quite expensive because often you have to split the engine to put a new shaft in.